Welcome back, everyone. We are here in the game. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Couldn't remember what I was talking about. Uh, we are here to go defeat Egther at last. Hopefully. Um, we have the eyes of Thiasi, which is what we need to enter his castle. So, we are going to head that way. And hope there's no complications. Oh, that sounds like a... Oh god, what the hell is that? A big flame thing? Well, let's fight it. Must spell. Moose spell. And it's just gone. Disintegrated. Interesting. Alright, um... Where are we going? We're going there. Yeah, okay. Let's run. Oops. If, is, if this is the end game, which it seems like it probably is, uh, I do feel like we may have missed a bunch of things. Well, that's okay. That's what happens when you play a adventure game for the first time. You're not gonna find every clue and secret. Ooh. Spooky. Uh, but I might do a bonus video uh, after I'm done here and just go find all the things that I missed. Um, I just feel like there's still, like, I have that frost flower. Uh, I got dragon scales. Uh, I was supposed to clean up that uh, workshop in, in uh, Nevada Lear. I feel like there's a lot I could have done still, but... It's not, uh, like I said, not an adventure game unless you miss a bunch of things. Side quests and that sort of thing. Just one up? Yep, okay. Here we go. Let's save it. Into the keep. Ow. We got her now! I told you a human could not be that tough. And now we get to kill her! No, not yet. But Master told us to! Stomping on humans and eating them is what common trolls do. But we are the leader troll. Yes, leader troll! Wait! Leader Troll does not kill? Yes, but we put her in a trap. A complex thing that kills her slowly. And then everybody say, Trivaldi, him smart troll. That sounds good. Oh, yes. So, ah. troll, you expect me to go down that easily? No, Miss Blonde. We expect you to die. Yeah, bring it. Yeah, ow. <laughs> Got him. Wait, what is this? Shut up, we are oh, busy! Yeah, he doesn't like the sun. Look up there. Do it. What's that yellow thing in the sky? It is the sun. You idiots. Oh no! The sun! The sun! Master, save us! Ah, Now he's a statue. Well done, Hildur. Now nothing stands between you and the evil Egther. Well, the castle probably does. How's that for a trophy? You need to make sure this ends up in the Forensic Tuna Guildhouse. You poke the statue a few times to your satisfaction. It proves to be harmless now. Alright, good. Troll statue. All right, onward to the keep. Gastropnia. 
Push against the door, but it refuses to budge. It's probably the thickest door you've seen, even stronger than the gates of Morton Tuna. Alright, well, that's what the eyes are for, I believe. Yeah! As you step into Egther's icy fortress, you find yourself in a magnificent hallway carved entirely out of ice. A, jeep, a deep chill sinks into your bones as you realize this place hasn't felt body heat for centuries. Cool. With a powerful magic unleashed when you force open the gate, you doubt if you'll have a chance to find Egther before he finds you. Oh, okay. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hi. Step forward, mortal, and meet your death. Doom. No. Already, the trolls your tune and misspell gather to strike down your cities. Now that the ancient seal is broken, I shall bring down ceaseless blizzards until Asgard and Midgard lie destroyed. The Norn's prophecy is at hand. The Aesir shall fall, and all shall be covered in ice. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, let's be noble. Surrender now, Egther, and I shall be merciful. If you were betting on my sense of humor, you have gambled wrong. Okay. Enough talk! May your last minutes drown in despair as Fenrir gnaws your bones. Fenrir? I know him. Oh no! Fear skin turned pale as your equipment starts to freeze in your pack. No! Ragnarok is at hand! Oh, was that the wrong dialogue choice? <laughs> oh, okay. You find yourself eye to eye with Fenrir, the Urwolf, who is fated to devour the moon when Ragnarok comes. Days from the crash landing, you scramble to your feet just in time to meet the monstrous wolf's attack. Fenrir snarls at you. He may be tied by the fetter, but he can still reach any place in this room. You better defend yourself. Oh. Okay, I'm just fighting him. Hiya! Ow. <laughs> Aw, <laughs> puppy. Sorry, these battles aren't very interesting because I am on the easy Get mode. Get up. We have little time. Take this potion and go after the Jotun. I will stand guard so no trolls come after you. Thanks, Sigurd. Where'd you come from? Can I search the... Dude, don't taunt the god-killing abomination. I wasn't. I was trying to search him. An ageless feral creature of frost and claw, Fenrir is terrifying to behold as the Aesir have found out to their peril in the past. Fenrir the Urwolf has been living in this pit for ages, feeding on Egther's former servants when he grew displeased with them. Jeez. Can we just climb out? Having dealt with Fenrir, you quickly make your way out of the pit. You have no time to waste before Egther freezes all of Midgard. I'm a good climber. Okay. Fen rear. More like dead rear. It's not my best. Um, oops. I guess we'll head this way. Looks like the only way to go. Ow! Wait, what What just happened? Is that my reflection? Ow! Stop it! Oh, that hurts. Is that hurting me? It is hurting me. Um... <laughs> That's funny. Looks like your little trick worked. You see your evil mirror image run away. Oh. Bye. Good for me. What the? You freeze in surprise as you see a very familiar figure stand across the room from you. It's me. Amazing, she looks exactly like you. Oh. Hello. Oh, she's coming. You stammer something at the doppelganger at a loss for words. Am I supposed to do something? 
You need this stone to enter the gate. I am ready. The Jotun won't stand a chance. Doppelganger, if that's what it is, hands you a strangely swirling stone. You are too confused to respond as it moves out of the room. Okay. You're not sure what just happened, but it must be some kind of trickery on Eggther's part. Yeah, that was weird. Look at all these tools. Or trinkets. Various magical trinkets and devices line the bottom shelves in the chamber. There doesn't appear to be anything useful, just old trophies and snow globes and the like. Alright, fine. The sphere appears to be a globe of the world of Midgard covered entirely in ice. As a result, it's mostly blue. It's obviously what Eggther is planning here. Yeah. Glad he has a diagram. Like, okay, my plan is ice everywhere. Find yourself in an ornate ritual chamber with a mystic symbol on the floor and all kinds of equipment in a Jotun-sized closet to the rear. Of course, everything here is somewhere between chilled and frozen. It's me. Uh, to the side of the room, you see a swirling portal set in an icy frame. It is too small for Ether to use himself. Perhaps it was for Thrivaldi. Um, this will go to the center. Do anything with this symbol? No. And we're supposed to go in the portal. Oh, that was one of the Norns. What's this? Shockingly, you find yourself at the gate of Fornsictuna, but the city lies in ruins and ashes. What in the name has taken place here? Oh no. Dark red clouds fill the sky, and part of Yarnvidir is on fire. You spot several Bagrisi and Moosebill in the area. Best be careful. There's a troll there. A troll sits against the remains of the city, well, city wall, gnawing contentedly on a bone and only pay barely paying attention to anything else. Let's kill him. My, aren't you aggressive today? Yeah, I want it. Okay. <clears throat> what what'd he do? Uh oh. Ah! Gotta fight them all? You're outmatched. Sometimes discretion is a better approach. Whoa! You have erased yourself from existence. Oh no! That's uh. That's quite the ending. Oh, wow. Okay. Didn't even give me, like, a loading screen. Alright, so, <laughs> note to self, don't walk towards the troll. Hmm. Okay. Where you stand, the wrecked remains of the once proud walls of Fornsictuna. The large stones that used to be part of the city wall appear to be loose now. Ooh. The large stone that used to be part of the city wall appears to be loose now. Okay. Let's just dump it on his head. <laughs> you hit the troll squarely on the head, knocking him out before he can make a sound. Nailed it. All the troll's valuables are that are in that little bag it's been guarding, unless a halfway gnawed bone appeals to you. Oh, okay, let's grab the bag. Quickly snatch the pouch from the troll. It contains some trinkets that must have been looted from the remains of Fort Zictuna. Aside from some silver coins, you find the apple seed that was displayed in the Adventurer's Guild, a bottle of mead, and Jarl Ilfing's key of office. Ooh, that shiny key I wanted. You're sad to see such unique items treated as mere plunder by the trolls. Agreed. Let's save here. How's that for a troll toll? Huh? Ah. <laughs> okay. Um, this might be all I need to do out here, but let's see if we can wander. Uh oh. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. <laughs> They're just gonna erase me from existence again. Um, okay, let's head back through the portal. Maybe there's something else. I mean, now that we have these tools. Oh, it doesn't even take me back to the castle. Okay. <clears throat> After a brief disorientation, you feel relieved to find yourself in the familiar area of Hodmini's Holt. And uh, let's see. 
Um, but there is something odd here. The large tree is missing, and it appears the gazebo is still under construction. This place is certainly confusing. Oh, there's a trowel. Placed neatly next to a pile of marble stones is a trowel, apparently used for the construction of the gazebo. I want it. Pick up the trowel. It appears to have been recently used, most likely to build the first parts of the gazebo. There's that thing I found in there. Barely visible amidst the streaming water is a dark red gem partially buried in the mud. I already have it, though. I don't want to mess around with time. In the heart of the forest, you find a hauntingly beautiful garden, but there is something eerie about the, the place, as if something's not quite right here. Oh yeah, there used to be a tree here. A patch of rough, rough earth lies bare between the grass. Um, I see we got a seed. You hold the faintly, faintly glowing apple seed that used to be on display in the guildhouse. Feels very much alive. Oops. We have to make the tree. Dig a small hole in the ground and plant the apple seed in what you believe to be the right place. You hope it'll grow tall. Okay. Um, past tree. Oh no. Okay, well, let's overwrite a bottom one then. Elder and the Lady. Uh, well, let's just delete it. Uh, pass tree. Foundations are sturdy and do not yield to your touch. The craftsmanship appears to be good and ready to last many a year. You suspect Svartoff involvement. Um, I thought I might need this trowel. Is this all to do here? Oh, God! Raised myself from existence. I have a feeling it's because I took the trowel, so let's put that back. Because I couldn't build the gazebo. And I don't know how that affects me directly. Leave the trowel where you found it so that whoever started building the structure here can complete his task. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Does this mean I always planted the tree? Wow. Magic. Or pest. Oh. Your alter ego stares at you in surprise. The other heroine clears her throat. Your duplicate babbles at you and can hear me. <laughs> oh. Am I supposed to say the same thing that she told me? What did she, what did she say? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Um, I think it's you this need this stone to enter the gates. Daniel looks at you in confusion. I do remember this. I am one. ready. The Jotun won't stand a chance. Uh, Doppelganger doesn't appear any more understanding. And oh, do I have to give give him something? Drop the vortex stone in the hands of your confused other self and quickly rush in the room. Oh, I didn't even. I'll be honest. I didn't even realize they gave me a magic stone. Maybe I wasn't paying enough attention. Uh, oh, I should say that again. This is spooky. Give me them scraps. Goodbye, give me them scraps. Okay. Final showdown. Maybe. It feels like a final showdown. That's all I'm saying. You're hardly surprised the door doesn't open at your touch. Some of Aether's magic must be holding it shut. This giant-sized double door must lead to Aether's throne room. Don't just stand there, heroine. Go after him. Um. Oh, the the magic key I found. Oops. 
Icy, icy key. So why did the the Jarl have it? I guess because he locked him in there. That makes sense. Large door swings open, and you ready yourself to confront Aegther as you dash forward into his throne room. You storm into Aegther's throne room, interrupting the Jotun's ritual to free Loki and initiate the final days of Ragnarok. So, you have escaped from the mighty Fenrir. It does not matter, for you are too late. Do you think you can fight me? For your impotence, I will strike you down, and all the world shall know your failure before they perish. Aegther gathers his magic to cast a lethal spell at you. Uh oh. Um. Uh. Can I save it first? <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Shield. Oh. The shield did nothing. Tough luck, heroine. Looks like a mundane shield isn't all that useful against powerful frost magic. Okay. Well, I didn't know. Let's see. What else do I have? Still have that golden sword, but that was... Racers. Magic gloves. I guess magic against magic would make sense. Anything else is food? Let's try the magic gloves. Think you can fight? Yes, I do. Mm. Aha! Caught it. I shall crush you! I guess we did learn the gloves work against ice. Hiya! No! <laughs> so <Got him. laughs> not be. I am Egthia! Mightiest of the Yotun, and I shall cut you down if it's the last thing I do. No, oh, it's. Oh my God. Oh, I thought it was over. Okay. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Maybe now it's over. <laughs> ah! Curse you, human. Curse all of your kind and all the Aesir. The Norns. It is done. <clears throat> the last of the Jotun has fallen. The Nine Worlds are safe from Ragnarok. Well done, heroine. You are truly the champion of Midgard. May you remain prosperous for a long time. We shall go back to tending the faith. Okay, bye. Perhaps we will meet you in Valhalla. Fare you well, Harry. The icy castle begins to shake and tremble around you, and feel you feel this is a good time to get out of here and fast. Y yes, please. What, what good did you do? Well done. You have finally rid us of the threat of Egfa. I would like to say that I could have done the same, but I think not. Let all hear that you are the strongest warrior in this realm. Yeah. Several days pass. Then, at the first signs of spring, the people of Midgard gather in celebration. Yay! The Fimbleberg winter has been de defeated. People of Fawn Sikuna and Munavagir, we are gathered here to celebrate the end of the Fimbul winter and the return of spring. Come to honor the heroine 
Who made this possible? By her defeat of Ektha, the Frost Giant. Yes, and she came all the way to Swaddleheim when the evil troll had captured me to fight the nasty elves and get me out of the cage, and we got through a snowstorm, too. I mean, she is really great, and I want to be a big hero like her. Thank you, Jaime. Thank you again for rescuing our son. You will always be welcome in Forn Sigtuna. I would like to personally thank her as well for freeing me from the Huljar's influence that kept me trapped in Yarnvidir. Would anyone else like to speak up for our heroine? Oh boy. I, Orvindel, Sage of the Northern Lights, would like to speak up by speaking about this heroine that is worth speaking up about. The graveyard of Fornsigtuna had been plagued by a hogboy, an undead which rose from its grave to plague the yards around Fornsigtuna with an undead plague. This adventurer has defeated the undead by scattering its ashes to the wind in an adventure where she used wind to scatter the undead's ashes to adventurously defeat it. The village of Unavagir is grateful to this heroine. Egfa the Cursed sent his army of trolls and giants to raise our village, and all of us banded together to defeat this menace. But we would not have made it without her brave intervention. You have our thanks. Lithrasir and I would not have been together if not for the heroine's help. And of course, none of us would be alive for much longer without her help. We are planning to get married this year. And if we have a daughter, we will certainly name her after our heroine. That's nice. Lith and I are very grateful for your help. Could have swallowed your pride and actually met each other. A crowd. But I wanted to say that it's because of her that I will learn the sword now, instead of being a mere beggar. So thank you much. A anyone else? Well, <laughs> oh, lower animals can always tell someone's personality better than we can. So my horrendous cat really likes her. Possibly because she saved him from the dark forests. Oh yes. And you know you can always trust a cat. So that is how we know she must be a very good person. Oh, and I think there was something about a Yodin, but I forgot what happened exactly. Very well. In honor of your accomplishments, I present you this medal, forged by my grandfather, the first Jarl Ilfing. May you wear it with pride. And know that you are ever in our memories. Now, let the feast begin! Several days later, with the ice melted from the fresh spring weather, Jarl Ilfing offers you his flying ship to travel to any other place in Midgard that might need a heroine. Your task in Yarnvadir fulfilled, you set off for lands unknown! Oh, it's literally a flying ship. I didn't quite understand that. Congratulations, you've saved the nine worlds from Ragnarok. You scored 385 out of 500 points in 13 days, 9 hours. Wow, I missed a lot then. 115 points. Your honor is 80% giving you a rank of exemplary. How's my honor bad? I didn't do anything mean. Should be at 100%. Well, that's that. That is the end of uh, Heroine's Quest. Thanks for following along with me, everybody. Like I said, I might uh, see if there's enough um, additional content that I missed and go back and maybe do a little bonus video with all that additional stuff. But if not, I think this is fine. I think I did pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, I'll let the credits play out, and 
hopefully see you soon with another new game. Uh, I still haven't quite decided on what I want to do yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out soon. So, thanks again, and goodbye. Oh, there's something at the end here. Decades pass. Hildur's whereabouts are rarely known, but she comes to aid in dire times. The skalds composing many a song about her battle prowess. One fateful day, she is in battle amidst a circle of enemies, swinging her Zweihander. Oh. Taking vast losses, her foes overwhelm her guard, her body riddled with wounds. She finally falls. What? Time freezes for a moment, and unseen by the other combatants, the rainbow Bifrost appears. We meet again, heroine. Brynhild? Thy time hath come. Mine exile hath ended. I am once more in the service of Odin, father of the slain. And he doth command me to bring thee to him. Thou hast fought with courage, and has averted the twilight of the gods, Ragnarok. Should it threaten the world once more, thou shalt be ready to fight it as one of the Einherjar. I accept this charge with honor. Then step forward, heroine, and follow me to Valhalla. Hildur's body was never found. Her legend lives on.
Huh. I guess that's that. Well, that was Heroine's Quest, the Herald of Ragnarok. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you again.